All right, this diagram is from IELTS Academic 16. As usual, we need to spend some time on the statement to understand it. The plans below show the site of an airport now and how it will look after redevelopment next year. So it's clearly a diagram. One of them is about now, so we need to use the language of present. And the second one is about the future. It's important to use the language of future. Always read the statement carefully to know what tenses should be used for that writing. All right, as you know, the instruction is always the same. We need to summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features only and make comparisons where relevant. Now, step two is to understand the plans. So one of them is about the present, the other one is about the future. If you've watched the previous videos, you know that you should not be worried about vocabulary at this stage. Just simply put tick for places that will change and cross for places that will remain the same. So uh, we'll start with departures, change, security passport control, no change, the area after that, change, um, here on the right we have arrivals, change, passport control customs, no change, and the area after that, no change, and the gates and walkway will also change. So, for the overview, we should mention that overall, the airport will change a lot. And also, the overview should be specific as well, because just mentioning that it will change a lot is too general. So, I want to choose the most important uh, changes. So, I will mention departures, arrivals, also the shops, and I will group walk away and car hire as transportation and put them as one group. In describing the changes, I'll start from now, it's more logical, and then I'll describe the changes in the future. So um, I will start with departures on the left, then arrivals on the right, and finally the gates. So it's time to write. The first thing I write is my paraphrase. This is my paraphrase. The given plans illustrate the current layout of Southwest Airport and its projected configuration after the development in the upcoming year. So I deleted below because there is nothing below my writing. Uh, instead of show, I used illustrate. Instead of the site of an airport, I used the current layout of. And instead of the airport, I used the name of the airport. And instead of how it will look after redevelopment, I used its projected configuration after redevelopment and instead of next year I used in the upcoming year. Now this is my sample. We just read the paraphrase. Let's continue with the overview. So I said that overall the airport will change a lot. Overall the airport is set to undergo significant transformations. Again it's too general. I need to be more specific. So I'll mention these points particularly in the departures and arrivals, as well as the addition of new facilities such as shops and transportation options. If you'd like to mention the gates, you could do that as well. Now, I'll start with now. Currently, the departures area houses the check-in and a cafe before security and passport control, while the space in the arrivals is unoccupied. Now, I'll continue with the second part. Moreover, after passport control customs, a walkaway leads to eight gates. Now the future. Following redevelopment, the check-in and the cafe in the departures will be arranged to accommodate a new backdrop area. Now the shops. Additionally, upon passing security and passport control, passengers will have access to shops before proceeding to their flights. And now the arrivals. Turning to the arrivals, notable changes are anticipated. The previously vacant space will be utilized for an ATM, a cafe, and a car hire facility for those arriving at the airport. And finally, the gates and the skyline. Furthermore, the number of gates will also increase to 18, necessitating the replacement of the walkway with a sky train. I organized my essay in four paragraphs. In the first one, I paraphrased and added my overview. In the second one, I described the current plan. In the third one, I described the future plan, mostly focused on the departures. And in the last one, again, I described the future plan and focused on the arrivals and the gates. And I wrote 172 words for this. In this slide, you can find the words that I used to describe the changes. Um, in the next one, you will find the connectors. And in the last one, 
you will find the language that I used to describe the future changes. Always read the statement carefully to know what tenses she should use for the description. Alright, hope you found it useful. Have a nice day.